So you're asking, how does it feel to be <clears throat> underrated? Yeah. 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 To be totally frank with you, I feel like, yes, I've always set the bar as high as, as I could. We're dealing with entertainment here. So I know my limitations in terms of proficiency. So if I was to sit here and tell you I could sing better than Stevie Wonder, I, you know, I haven't practiced singing as much as Stevie Wonder practiced it growing up. Can I sit here and tell you that I have the, you know, uh, as a lead instrumentalist, I'm doing something as amazing and incredible as Prince or Jimi Hendrix. They've illustrated uh, in a, just an insanely high level of proficiency. You know, when I look at what I'm offering in comparison to Prince, Michael Jackson, Jimi Hendrix, the Beatles, from a songwriting standpoint, you know, I feel like I still have so far to uh, so far to go to, to even begin to start touching, you know, what they've done. So then, if you're not doing that, then it comes down to just pure entertainment. What is Ryan Leslie doing that's just purely entertaining? What am I doing that provokes and encourages and inspires other sites and other media to want to? share what I'm doing and they feel like it's relevant to their audience. I'm not one of those people that will blame, oh, I wasn't promoted enough or, oh, I didn't, you know, you know, I wasn't a priority of my record label and, you know, I don't really uh, get into the idea of making excuses and giving explanations for why you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, massively exposed. I think that we're in an age now where people really want to expose something, like your site, they'll expose something, you know. Mm -hmm. I always approach music in that way, you know, it's inspired by personal experience. The records that I wrote, how it was supposed to be, shouldn't have to weigh out of the blue, even Diamond Girl. It sounds like, it sounds like there was a lot of longing in the lyrics and a lot of wanting it. I mean, it's kind of a, you know, it was kind of a, a mixture of experiences, but really rooted in a loss that I had experienced. And uh, I consider my responsibility as someone who makes music to make the best music that can serve as a soundtrack for my experience so that hopefully somebody else who's going through the same experience that doesn't write music can use that music as the soundtrack for their experience. The song How It Was Supposed To Be. Um... Is it true that that particular song was written about um, an artist of yours, Cassie? Uh, yeah, it's true. And, uh, you know, I think that um, any great business relationship could be considered a marriage or a romance, you know? So the, uh, the opportunity to use that and make it a metaphor for romance uh, was, you know, such a sweet opportunity uh, because I believe that it's it's uh, and it's an experience that's very relatable. You know, what would have happened if you know she acted a little different or he acted a little better? Would they still be together? Would they still be? Would there still be something magical? You know, is this the way it was supposed to be? All, all of those sort of questions that swirl and linger. Um, and I, I just thought it was very relatable. And like I said, it was something that, was, uh, that I was strongly feeling at the time. I wrote that record on a New Year's Eve, I think, uh, in 2007, going into 2008, you know. Uh, while everyone else was out in Times Square, like celebrating, I was in the studio writing a record that, you know, that moved me and uh, now is sort of the finale of my show, you know. I, I make albums and that's why this new album transition is coming so quickly because I make music all the time. The minute I had another collection of music and I had a song I was excited about, the aim is really to advertise my contribution musically. I got a call from the president of my record label who said, hey, any new signee that we have, and 
they come into this building and, and we ask them, hey, who do you want to work with? They say your name, you know, so what's really riding higher? I mean, what's, you know, is it more money? Is it more chart success? You know, people ask me all the time, like, oh, you know, do you feel like music is dying and real music is dying, real artists are dying? And I said, look, I think there's, there's hundreds of them. The demand for it, I think, is, you know, where people simply are not, they're, they're, that's not what the demand is, is for. Yeah, your next projects are coming up and you're waiting for the breakthrough, the recognition, the achievement that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there's always a fear as one gets older that it can be harder to get the break, that breakthrough? Um, I think if you're doing something, you're contributing something of value, it'll be cool, you know? So for me, it's just about contributing something that is worthy of, uh, you know, the, the time and the energy and the effort that people will put into consuming it, you know? So for me, you know, it has absolutely nothing to do with age, per se. Uh, it has everything to do with you know, doing something that's exciting and energizing and activating and, uh, and uh, you know, as long as I'm alive, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I wonder if you'll ever find out how it was supposed to be. Huh. Said I wonder if you'll ever find